I want to bring in the Heritage Foundation president, Ed Fulner. OK, Ed, tax bill, it's going to pass. I'm saying get out there and sell it. You've got to sell it. Am I going to see some Absol real heavy-duty selling here? Absolutely, Stuart. We have been selling it, and I know the president's been selling it. I talked to Paul Ryan yesterday. He's been selling it. Uh, it's all systems go. And can you believe it when Nancy Pelosi says we shouldn't pass it because we'd be stealing money from the government? <laughs> My gosh, does the government own the whole economy and they'll just give us something back? This is an idiotic argument, but it, it shows the liberals for what they are. True, but I remember people speaking like that from the 1950s back in England. I mean, that was the socialist position. Mm. It's our money. It ain't yours, it's ours. But <laughs> let me not digress too much. We just heard from Gary Cohen about this carried interest. Mm. It stays. Now, for the benefit of our viewers, carried interest is a special low, low tax rate paid by hedge fund managers. Gary Cohen said we wanted to get rid of it, but we couldn't. It never made it to the table. Can you explain that? I really can't, Stuart. Uh, this is one sausage I was not on the inside of making, and that's what they say you should watch out for. When they get in uh, private rooms, strange things happen. Uh, we had that first in, first out. That got pulled out, thank goodness. Uh, carried interest really should not be uh, continued. We're trying for a flatter, simpler, fairer, more transparent kind of tax code, and that that doesn't really comply with that. But overall, it's going to be a great plan and a great Christmas present for everybody. Are we going to keep the government open and running beyond Christmas? I am sure we are. It sounds to me like that's probably going to happen and will carry forward until January 19th on a short-term uh, continuing resolution. After January 19, hopefully we'll get back to regular order and do it for the rest of the fiscal year. Uh, but I'm very, very optimistic, as usual, but particularly optimistic right now that things are going in the right direction. I just want to ask you, look, this tax deal is going to hurt me personally, but I very much support it because I think it returns America to prosperity. Are you with me on that? I am. It's going to hurt me as well uh, on a couple fronts, but uh, that's the first thing everybody does, I guess. They look at their own filing and see how it affects them. But for real Americans, middle Americans, Americans across the country, it's going to be a great, great Christmas present. And I'm so proud of the president and of the majorities in both the House and Senate for making it happen. I just want to tell everybody that this may be your last appearance on Varney and Company as the president of Heritage. It is your last time, isn't it? You're leaving. That's right. I'm stepping down as president on December 31st. Our good friend and colleague, Kay Coles James, will be on starting January 1st. Everybody here in Heritage and everybody in Washington, for that matter, is very excited to have Kay, a real veteran and a real leader of the conservative movement, in as my successor. We're all uh, going to be drinking Christmas toast to her, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to say you did a great job, Ed, and uh, you contributed mightily to this program, and it's much appreciated. Ed Fulmer, everyone. You can have me back. I'll still be hanging around, Stuart. <laughs> if you're not careful. <laughs> if you're not real careful, Ed. <laughs> Good luck to you, sir. Nice night. Merry Christmas, all. Yes, sir.